guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jeff Saxon, and well, this is my vlogging channel. And these guys right here are my friends. This is Javi, and that's Nick. Let's go, bro. They both belong to the Regenis channel, and right now I'm actually kind of nervous to be filming this video with them because I don't know if they're still gonna prank me back for my last video. If you guys want to see a quick flashback to that. Smoke out! What the fuck? Yo. Yo. <laughs> yeah, so I threw colored smoke in here and I don't know when they're gonna prank me back, so I'm kinda nervous for that. Could be any time. Could be now. Anywhere. Oh god. Alright guys, so at the end of that video anyway, uh, he jumped out of a moving car and danced to uh, the song In My Feelings by Drake doing that challenge. Uh, we just got done filming at Walmart and we also went back in Walmart. We had my expensive camera, Nick had his expensive camera, and there's a few people eyeing us up. I thought whatever. Uh, I didn't realize we were in the hood. As you guys call it, yeah. for your town. Good old Bridgeton. Yeah, it was uh, not a good time to kind of be out, I guess, with expensive electronics. So yeah, some people were eyeing us up in this Walmart, whatever. So we ended up deciding to leave Walmart to come back to Nick's house just to hang out and relax. And uh, we got followed by a car for about five miles after we left there. And Nick, what did I say when we were driving? He kept saying they were following us. I didn't believe him at first because it made no sense. I thought he was just like coincidentally going the same way. Yeah. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to turn here. And what did you say? Oh, yeah. I was saying, like, no one goes in that room. So if he turns here, it's ridiculous. And then... I turned. And guess what? He followed. He made a turn right behind <laughs> us. So Javi had this idea. It was a great idea. To go around, like, a block. Because, like, obviously, if they're following us, they're going to go around the block. <laughs> yeah. What happened, Javi? He followed. Every move, he followed. For that about, way. like, a good 10 minutes straight... Yeah. We kept going around different blocks, making rights and lefts, and this vehicle just kept following us. And honestly, it was probably the scariest night of my life because I had no clue what the hell go was going on. And what none of us dumbasses thought about calling 911. Actually, well, I said something, you said no. Yeah, like, tell, we tell, can't tell run him. about Bridgeton. Oh my god. Bridgeton is a place where it's a dump. Like, you don't want to live there. Believe me, you don't. Is There's it the ghetto? Please tell them that's the ghetto. What, what happened two days ago in Richmond? Oh, oh yeah, they told me this. Sad, they sad. told me this when we were leaving the Walmart, by the way. It's kind of I, I flipped. I flipped shit on them because I was like, "You guys didn't tell me this coming here." Well, so, well tell if, them if now. If we told you, you wouldn't go. You wouldn't have bothered. That's but true. There's a notorious street in Richmond, and uh, there there was a drive-by shooting where they killed, uh, accidentally shot a uh, nine-year-old, and uh, she's. You know, she could she didn't make it out alive, and that was That's devastating terrible. news. Yeah, so you guys took me into the hood, and we got followed. So yeah, this vehicle was following us. I don't know for about a good twenty to thirty minutes, and finally I had enough, and I told Nick, I was like, Nick, I'm gonna drive super fast for the next few moments, and that's what I did. I did about eighty. And the roads have <laughs> potholes like, everywhere. Yeah, ninety. Didn't we go more? over? Didn't we go over like a? a we went over. Track? We were over a railroad track, track like, and we le went legit dukes and hazards like on this. Bumps everywhere because the, the streets were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> uh, and, and this truck is like right up on us. Yeah, I was like, Jesus, how the hell am I gonna? And by the way, Jesus is still MIA. Uh, you know, from my virtual escape. But I was like, how the fuck are we gonna get rid of this truck from or this vehicle just following us in general? And nobody, well, I had the idea, like, hey, let's call the cops, but he didn't want to. And I, I thought about driving to a police station, but none of them knew where the nearest police station was. Well, it's pretty far. Because we would have had to gone through back to, like, the ghetto. Yeah. And at that point, I was not going back through the ghetto when I'm already being chased down. <laughs> yeah, it was sketchy, though, honestly. So we ended up just finding, like, a, like a straight road, because, like, we actually, when we were going around, like, different roads, we actually didn't know where we were, and that was the worst part, because we were just, like, going through towns, like, like going the, through little back the, roads the only stuff. thing that did help was to kind of coordinate the turns and all that was the gps that's like programmed yeah. in my car so we were able to kind of look around at the roads like all right which way can we go a few different ones happen to be one way so we're like fuck well we can't go that way down on one way because yeah. we'll be caught yeah so we ended up uh we finally found like a straight road that we knew went towards like my house so we just went down that road and just booked it booked down. it booked it like we we lost that truck i'm not i don't even know how fast we were going but we were, uh dude we were going well over 80 at one point i remember we were out we were out uh but honestly guys for me it was the scariest night of my life because you know i hate driving through any kind of ghetto uh <laughs> just personal preference 
because I know not good things happen in ghettos, especially at night, especially what I just heard about the little girl, may she rest in peace. Uh, other than that, dude, I I hate you guys for that. It was like that kind of your guys' payback making me go through the ghetto. Oh, no, that's not payback. No, that's, that's nothing. That's not. We that's used to live in Bridgeton. Yeah, I lived there for a good, uh, like, five years. I would and say. you're still alive? And I'm still alive. I went to I went to school in Bridgeton my whole life. Well, well they both. said they never met, messed with you, so. Yeah, dude. We were fortunate. Yeah, that's weird that they followed us. Alright guys, well if you guys did enjoy this video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Check out the Regenis channel. Ooh. This is actually Regenis. That's Javi. His name's Nick, but they named the channel after his last name, obviously. So all, yeah guys, we're go. We're all a part of it though. I don't own that channel. Squat. Yeah. Yeah, you guys go check them out. Their content is fucking funny as fuck. Uh, and they, they're probably gonna prank me back soon, so. You guys may want to see that. What's that? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Until next time, guys. It's been your boy Jeff. Keep it real. Make sure to subscribe to Regenis. Make sure to subscribe here. Notification on. Like this video. I know I already saw this stuff. Social media links down below, guys. I've been streaming nonstop on Twitch.tv slash Jeff Saxon Vlogs. I'm doing a monthly giveaway where I'm going to be picking two Twitch subscribers to give away Amazon gift cards too. But until next time, I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out with these guys. And well, pa 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 pa. Peace. Bye. Change hoes like clothes, I can get attached Cause these hoes five starters like lit matches I've been feeling really lost, looking all attachments I don't really go outside cause I hate you